What's up YouTube, it's Crystal C Manga here and I'm going to review Bleach chapter 511 A very emotional chapter if you're a Yamamoto fan and you know it was just a good chapter overall So basically you know we pick up again where we left off last week and that slash actually managed to cut Yamamoto in two Basically you know it severed him from the shoulders across to his um, waist clean cut basically dead but we get, before that we get a flashback of um, Yamajin and Shusei when you know when she, they were both younger basically Suse sees a picture on the wall of Yamamoto but he doesn't know who he is or what it is it's just a picture of a guy in flames and, he, and Yamamoto said that this is a monster that appeared in Soul Society many years ago during a difficult time and the monster will probably never return again and then we cut to the scene of his death basically that man's that monster <laughs> man, that monster is actually referring to um him in the past basically when he was a really violent um, Shinigami he used to like you know to get the job done he'll do anything you know he'll sacrifice his subordinates um, he will completely annihilate his enemies he basically just loved to hunt for the kill basically and the original um, Goldite 13 were just like him they were all bloodthirsty killers apparently that so basically we know this because um, Juha Buck actually states this after his death he says you become weak um, you know, a thousand years ago, you you guys were you know bloodthirsty killers. You were stronger than this. This these times of peace have weakened you. He even actually refers to you know why. He actually mentions why Yamato didn't even um, um, basically ask Haruhime to heal his arm. Basically, he says he didn't want to involve humans in Shinigami's affairs in order to protect them. And then Joe Buck said, you know, back in the day, you know, humans would have been you know things you'd have sacrificed to get the job done. It's just now that you've become so peaceful and you know start to value you know everything else in life so up uh, while he's mocking him now he decides to walk after i say after finish mocking him he walks away and you know i think Yam yamamoto is probably dead but his fighting spirit is probably still alive he actually grabbed onto juha buck's leg and then he actually cuts his arm off completely and he says you know what you're finished and then he proceeds to i mean this is just i don't know what he just like annihilates him basically he just like finger blasts him till there's nothing remaining basically and then um, he says to his, um, I think his lieutenant, I think his name's Hutchwald. Hutchwald, I can't pronounce his name, but I think it might be Hutch, Hutchwald or something like that. He said, you know, we're going to leave now before the Zero Squad shows up. So that's that's good news. That means we're going to see the Zero Squad soon because, uh, because um, the Gotai 13 apparently has been defeated. Well, if they, I guess if the head of the Shinigami is, you know, taken down, I guess they've already been, all been defeated. So the Zero Squad is going to show up soon. And then, um, you know, he says, you know, send send information to the all stone writers to completely annihilate soul society. So they all received the information now, and they did that technique where they summon things through the shadows. So all of them did the summoning thing now, and like a whole army of like you know, I think regular stone writers show up, and they just annihilate soul society. I mean, they're destroying buildings, they're killing Shinigami, they're doing everything. Oh, and um, side note. You know the guys that got burnt by Yamamoto, like Busby. Um, as not and someone else they're, they're still alive because i saw busby he's he's obviously been you know grilled he's got like the whole burn marks on him and everything but he's still alive so that probably means busby sorry that means um as not is probably alive as well the one that stole byakuya's bankai so that's good to know that means we got we're gonna get someone to finish him off properly and yeah so you know salt is destroyed now and then um yeah um um juha bach is gonna leave and then I, all of a sudden something explodes in the sky Obviously, a rip in the dimension, someone's gonna show up. My bet is Ichigo because you know he's, he's probably broke through. Um, what's his name again? Kurge's barrier by now, so it has to be him. If not, then I don't know who it could be. I doubt it would be um, the royal, the royal guards, but you never know. Scuba has been surprising us lately, so it could be something that we, do, we don't even expect. It could be someone that we haven't seen before, it could be someone that we could be. I don't know, Yoriichi, not doubtful, but. It could be it could be anybody right now, but more than likely it might be Ichigo. But yeah, the, the chapter was great. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, sad that Yamamoto is dead though, but um, at least we've seen um, his bankai and everything. Like when I I get on I get upset yeah when I see a character die and we don't really see their full potential. We've seen Yamamoto's you know kind of full potential. We've seen what he's capable of. So I guess it's okay to let him die now. But it's still sad. But it was a good chapter and we just, it just confirms how, you know, you know I mean, lethal and dangerous, just because of how uh, horrible Juha Bachi is actually. He's just, as I said before in a couple of uh, previous videos, he's a real shit right now. He's like, 
the villain Bleach should have had. He doesn't. It's just no questions. He just kills you, and that's it. No explanation. No going around in circles talking like Eisen used to do. He just kills you. Get the job done, which is what Bleach needs right now. Anyway, if I'm supposed to rate this chapter, I'll give it. I've been giving Bleach nine out of ten, eight out of ten, just all since this arc started, and I think it still deserves it. I still. I still think this chapter deserves a 9 or 8.5. It's a really good chapter. Um, couldn't find a fault with it. Only fault I have is that it's too quick. But, you know, that standard Bleach, Bleach. You expect that from Bleach chapters that for it to fly by really quickly. So that's the norm right now. So I can't really judge a chapter based on that. But, yeah, it was a good chapter. Um, yeah, so, you know, like the video if you enjoyed it. And comment. Let me know what you think of the chapter. Let me know who do you think is coming through the sky. If it's Ichigo or is it someone that we don't know about. And let me hear your theories about the Royal Guards, the Royal Realm, what's going to happen in the next couple of chapters. Because I want to, you know, I want to have a discussion about it. I want to know what's really going to go down. So, yeah, guys. So, you know, um, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see our videos when we put them out. And, yeah, stay tuned for more. So, this is Chris with C Manga. And I'll see you guys later.